Hey, today I'm going to show you the difference between a pullet and a cockerel eight-week-old white leghorn. These are not an auto sex chicken or a sex link chicken. They, when they're born, they look exactly the same. So stick around if you want to hear a few things or a few facts about the white leghorns. Okay, this as you can see, when I got them, um, when I bought, when I bought these chickens, I bought all pullets, but I did need an extra rooster and I did not vent sex them. I did not. Should have, but I didn't. I did need an extra rooster because I had lost Samson, but as you can see, the cockerel is a whole lot larger than the pullet is. You can see by my hands. But as you can see, I do have a room. It's very obvious because of the cone. He has a single cone. They both have a single cone. But um, also, hope this, the cockerel's legs are way bigger than the pullets. I'm gonna show you the pullets too. See how small her legs are? They are won't jump out of here so fast. But um, some of the things I want to tell you about them is I have always, always, always wanted white leghorns. And the reason is that they're a heritage breed. They are, they're also a Mediterranean breed, but the first things that they were ever called were, they were called Italians. But they, they were used for land racing birds in Tuscany, Italy. The port city was called Livorno, which means leghorn. And that's where they got their name from. A man named Captain Gates bought, brought them back to the U.S. And I, he brought them back to, or he docked in the Mystic Harbor in Connecticut. And I think it was about in 1828. I'm, I have to check that, but I think that's, that's when it was. But he docked it, like I said, the Mystic Harbor brought these birds back. And these birds were the ancestors of the birds that we know today. They either have a rose cone or they have a single cone. And they have red wattles. And you can already see, I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll show you. The male already is getting little wattles. You can see those, the red ones. And his cone is much redder than the female. And the female does it, she, you can even see her wattles. They have white earlobes, which I'm gonna try to show you without him trying to jump out. But they have white earlobes. Their eyes are a reddish orange color. And they have a yellow beak. They have yellow legs and yellow skin. They have four straight toes. And one in the back, three in the front to escape <laughs> but in 1874 they were admitted into the american poultry association the italians recognize um standard varieties but it, they do not recognize them if they have a rose cone on their head they only recognize them if they have a one single straight cone on their head but the u.s we bred the rose cone to deal with the harsh winters that we deal with here. They, something that you can do, they do get very large red cones, but in the winter time, if you don't want them to get like frostbit or anything like that, you can put some Vaseline on them and that helps to prevent with, um, with frostbite. They're a standard, the standard fowl, the rooster, he usually gets to be about seven, seven and a half pounds, and the female only gets to be about five to six pounds. They are very, very intelligent birds. They are quite resourceful. They can find their own food. They love to free range. They love to forage. They are very, very, very smart, but they're very busy, active birds. I have, the, I've showed other birds, but these two, they want to jump out right now. I mean, these are probably the hardest birds I've ever had to keep in the bucket while I'm talking. They are great flyers. A lot of people clip their wings because they can fly high and they love to fly. 
they do not like to be quiet and they can get very very loud if you have an urban backyard i i would not recommend white leg horns because they're loud and they can fly they these do not white leg horns try to avoid human contact just like they're doing right now but i have to say they're very hardy for in the winter time they lay a medium to large egg they average they average about 280 eggs a year, but they can lay up to 320 eggs a year. Um, the white breed lays the most eggs out of the log, out of the longhorn breed. Um, they're not a broody, broody hen at all. If you have white leg horns, you might want to invest in an incubator, or you may want to stick their eggs under a broody hen. If you want a hen that is a regular prolific layer and does not consume very much the leghorn they this is your bird right here they their feed to egg ratio is one of the best around that's why they are used in the u.s to produce um, a lot of our eggs that we buy in the grocery stores another thing is these birds right here they're not very good with small children they're not like the ice of brown the ice of brown if you want a pet chicken that's the one i would recommend these are very very active birds but um this color right here they i call them a white leg horn but some people call this a pearl color but there's a lot of varieties there is a barred leg horn there's a black leg horn there is a blue leg horn, a buff leg horn, a buff Colombian, a dark brown leg horn, an ex cheeker leg horn, a light brown leg horn, a white leg horn like these, and a silver leg horn. But a lot, I love them. I've always wanted one, and I'm so excited about these. I've gotten four. I've got three pullets and this is my only rooster and I named him it was supposed to be a girl and I was naming it after the Disney chicken popcorn but my popcorn is going to be a rooster so you'll see him again later on in other videos when he gets bigger but I've always wanted them because growing up you know you always seen foghorn leghorn um I, I one of my hens are named Camilla after the Muppet after the Muppet Chicken and um, Lady Cluck off of Robin Hood. She was a white leg horn, um, Chicken Little, and uh, I don't know if you've ever watched The Fox and the Hound. There's a, they had white leg horns on there too, but a white leg horn's really popular in cartoons and stuff like that. But this right here, these are beautiful, beautiful birds, and I am so excited. These are my first white leg horns. Probably won't be my last, but these are my first. So, I hope you've learned a little bit about the leghorn. Like I said, they've done very well. They do want to, they are very active birds and they definitely want to jump out of this crate right now. So, that's all I've got to show or share with you about the leghorns.